Greetings, Underlords. Neon is back. I'm doing extra deep voice right now. Not because I have to, but because why not? Um, there are a bunch of doubles here. I don't really want them because they're shitty units. So let's go start with Axe. Hope to get a brawny bonus and go from there. We have nothing else particularly interesting going on in any of these ones. We have a couple people who are on Warriors, but uh, I, I don't know whether I'm going to go for Warriors or yet or not. So uh, one of the things I wanted to do with this video is I want to focus on trying to go deep into some strategy. I feel like I am have a pretty good mastery of the good stuff approaches that are going on in the game. Like, I mean, I think that it's not that hard to do you know, some composition with like hunters as your DBS. You have a couple of frontliners. You're, you know, you're playing you know, tight hunters and stuff like that. Like, this is really, really good units. And I think that that strategy is probably the just the best of the available strategies right now uh, as a as a broad uh, category. But um, I wanted to try to force myself to try some of the more exotic strategies, doing things like, I mean, I have to, right? As, as much as I don't want to, I think I have to. Just level two is so powerful. Not regretting not picking up the, I guess I wouldn't have picked up the Warlock. Um, if I, like, cause I, 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 you're not gonna get level one Warlock, and I wouldn't have locked it, and so, anyway. Um, the thing I was, I was saying, though, is that I don't feel like I quite have as much grasp on the deeper strategy, so I, I, my ultimate aim here is to go for a six of something strategy, uh, or at least three mages. Mages is the strategy that I had the least experience with of the the other ones i've tried it a few times uh i think there's one video that i did of it and i wasn't satisfied with how it performed i always grab smuggler in the first couple of rounds if i get if i see smuggler in the first phase of uh, of these um like these first three rounds i always take it because the upside is fucking insane Let's go. Like this. There were some different options here. I mean, Timbersaw is honestly quite enticing because he's really good. But this will work too. The fact that I also got... Wow, I got Smuggler in the first one. I was thinking for half a second, I was like, was this just embarrassing? Rich is like, no, it was Smuggler. So this round, I have a chance of getting something pretty good, which will be really strong going into the the first batch of actual PvP matches. So uh, this is a, a decent start. I guess we're going Knights? I, 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 I think. That's what it looks like. None of these are knights. I mean, I think what I'm supposed to do is this, right? Uh, yeah. This did not work out well. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think that their lineup was just much better than mine, especially looking at the fact that we had like a we went dis disabled like the first shot. Like we we had a, we, we were disarmed quite early into that fight with our juggernaut, who's gonna be our main DPS. I, I don't think my arrangement was correct for the record. Pretty be obviously um hmm i th i think that the way that this works 
mechanically. I'm going to sell this. We just have like tons of trolls here. Maybe I, I can go deep into trolls again. Not that I'm like super excited for that. Okay, so the way that it works is non-knight allies get to a plus 7% uh, damage reduction for each allied uh, knight one cell away. That's interesting. So it stacks each one? Oh, that works much different than I expected. That's really good. And it's also really good if we have our knights as our backliners. Fascinating. Maybe I can actually level up here. We just keep on getting past some some good shit. <clears throat> yeah, we can definitely level up in this case. The brawny bonus is just so good right now. I am going to skip on buying right now because if I get the the one gold from a victory, I want to spend it on nature's uh, on a uh, queen of pain rather. Yeah, I'm thinking about this this bonus here, and it's it's kind of fascinating how it works. So non-knight units get plus 10% damage reduction over each allied unit, uh, knight unit, one cell away. So I, I want to try to arrange things such that they, they are, like, is, like, one of my issues I'm seeing right now is that they're all, um... Oof, that's a good one. Feels like this is a Shadow Fiend build. This looks good. It's a little bit weird, but we're, we're working on it. We did it? Did we do it? Okay, um. Hmm. We're, we're messing around with some stuff. Like, we're, we're, we're going deep here. Part of it is we have a bunch of these brawny units that are kind of interesting. But I, I just don't think that it's worth it. I'll just level here. Like, I don't think that I, I need Beast Master that badly. Shadow Fiend is going to be doing like the vast majority of my damage, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can go six knights. Let's see if we can push that. Like, all of the knight units are, like, fine. Okay, so that was round eight. Let's see if we can get to interest here. And that about is just only my juggernauts. Unless I get a third one. In which case I will substitute my ogre for a juggernaut. This brooch is probably on the wrong unit. It's probably supposed to be on on him. That's good. That's a good one. Let's do this. Oh, it's a warlock too. Okay, this is quite solid. 
Because so we have warlocks, we have knights, um, we have. Trolls. That's Shadow Fiend. He's, he didn't last very long, but he did his, his duty. But, I mean, I think that that's also a really good reason to have the, the Knight's energy around him. Because he dies so quickly. But if we get him to have some damage reduction, then he'll be fine. I really want to test how some of these interactions work with, like, mana. Mana is, is a mechanic in this game that is, I think, under flushed out in terms of how it actually functions. Because, for example, does this damage reduction decrease the rate at which Shadow Fiend gains mana or not? I would, I would love to have some answers there. I think that the, this this is a little bit of a... Yeah, this is actually quite a, a clever little move. So I'm going to sell those two, and then I'm going to buy Witch Doctor, Anti-Mage, Terrorblade. Because Anti-Mage plus Terrorblade is an interesting combo for uh, hopefully obvious reasons. And I kind of like the idea of having access to them. Getting into this battle at the 20 interest point, though, is is really sick. Like, this friend here is also uh, at 32, which is higher than me, but they're at level 5. Uh, so they have not invested as much money in me in, in leveling. And as a result, they're going to probably lose a lot more than I am. Like, I'm doing pretty well in terms of, like, win-loss ratio. I, I did lose some, which you kind of expect. Um... Yeah, it's got to be Blade Mill. None of this is interesting. Lame shit. Like... Razor is fine. Technically, I could go something like a Puck Razor, substitute out my Shadow Fiend for, for the Razor. This Indomitable Will is going pretty well for me, though. I'm gonna, I gotta say. I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. No, no, I'm wall. Age of Chivalry. Well, that's, that's good. It, it's worth the, the, the win streak preservation uh, possibility here to buy it, because I was, I was thinking of whether or not I want to save. Actually, well, let's just sell that. Um, because we're like the Shadow Fiend seems like it's going really well in this build, and he scales into the late game quite well. So uh, I think that we can we we do this uh, swap here. Looks like we're not mis preserving the win streak one way or another. We can get this ogre out of the lineup. We really need another good. Like we need an Abaddon. Or Dragonite. Another good knight would do, would do well. No, well, we'll just grab Terrorblade back again. Because why not? If we get an upgrade on either Anti Mage or Terror Blade, I might um, like level up and then substitute in the Anti Mage and Terror Blade for the the Ogre. That would be good. This is looking good. Oh, they have a level two. Shadow Fiend. Yeah, we're, we're not going to beat that. 
<laughs> they they did a lot more damage than us. Yeah, look look at their their shadow fiend damage two thousand four hundred and seventy five. Who is that against? Media. Media. How does media do? They're at the bottom. Okay. Like I mean, I'm happy to take for interest here. This, this is a, a good, interesting, interest sort of phase because like our layout is strong enough. I'm gonna move, switch these guys up. I don't think that you can play Keeper of the Light without Crystal Maiden. I've I've attempted him a bunch of times, and the only times that he's really impressed me is when you have Crystal Maiden. Not only Crystal Maiden, like level two Crystal Maiden for the most part. None of my opponents are saving for interest. It seems. Uh, I guess Molly is, which is who I'm facing right now, and they're losing. So sure, I'm I'm down for that. They're also not leveling. Where are they spending their money on? Are they just not getting it? I'm a little confused as to what they're up to. Where's a lone druid? Definitely picking that up. The unit is just so amazing. I was gonna say busted. It's not busted. It's just very good. Kunk is busted. Lone Druid is merely amazing. Oh, we're at round 15. Okay. Yeah, I really like to be able to get to 50 gold for, for round 15. If you can do that, I think that you're in a in, in very good position. Well, I don't want to look at the enemies. I want to look at chat, uh, our, our damage. So we do have a couple level 7s now. Interesting. I'm going to go for Mechanism. I feel like I'm going to be leveling fairly quickly. <clears throat> this looks good. Mechanism. Let's read the particulars of this. Equip, uh, when Kuba Hero has less than 50% health, hero, heal allies units up to three units away for 250 health once per battle. Uh, probably not best on Shadow Fiend. I can never remember ex ex like whether it does it. I also want to check whether it heals himself or just, just the, the others. Okay, Hurry Fiend here is going aggro. They have a Medusa. And a level two drow and a level two wind rager already. And they have a very good setup. <clears throat> He's a seven game win streak. Not a, no shock there. This works. I'll pick up the Terror Blade as well. Level 3 Bounty Hunter already? Where are these people getting this shit? Are they just like rolling aggressively now? We actually were pretty close there, surprisingly. Oh, 
There's a troll warlord. Um. Hello, game? Okay, we just had a minor glitch, it's fine. I would have put him in there uh, in if I actually had a chance to play him, but it happens. Yeah, this this bit here has not been working out. Razors, you're off the team too. I need to start actually investing in my my team because right now we're we're losing a little bit too quickly. Sorry, Ogre. Sorry, not sorry. Pick him up. Big upgrade. Kunkka is very good as well. Uh, the Troll Warlord should not be on the outside. That's... That was okay of a run. We still are going to lose. But it was... It wasn't a disaster. Let's grab Shadow Shaman. Because he's here. Omni Knight. Good shit. I'm going to do level here. Oh, let's swap these guys. We keep on erroring here. I don't know what's going on here. It was a loot round. We won it. I'm trying to think what we want to do. Um, mechanism should be on, let's say, Luna. I need to rearrange things, but a little bit frazzled from the, the game just dying on me momentarily. Okay, we're doing... We're still losing, but we are doing okay. Yeah, this makes sense to me. Got to that 50 point. Molly here has been leveling up and econing pretty hard. Uh, we don't have the brooch on anything right now.
Templar assassin just taking me to school. She is very, very good. My life total up on the top left here is bugged. Um, I'm actually at 20 now, not... Okay, so it's, it is reading correctly now. Weird. We need to roll here. Abaddon should have grabbed. Oh, let's grab this. Um, Dragon Knight. Ooh, Hurricane. Hurricane's doing really well. I, the biggest problem is I need to upgrade my Shadow, Shadow Fiend. I haven't seen a Shadow Fiend 3 yet, and he is a, the biggest source of my damage. I guess the other one is Troll Warlord, and he's been doing okay. Being okay, I mean, he's been leveling people. Okay, Kanka is substituting for Lone Druid. I don't think I need the tankiness. I would rather have the AoE. Not interested. Dragon Knight. Nope. Sure. I'm not going to be able to get to Omni Knight at level 3, I don't think. Boating people, very nice. Okay, I feel like we've turned the corner. I mean, I still have to be pretty aggressive here. What is other people doing in terms of the economy? Nobody's doing, I guess, it's like Molly is the one that I'm the most concerned about. Though sh they could die, I'm not assuming that they're female. Victory is nice though. Stop dying. Um, Enigma makes sense to me. Because, like, the Shadow, the Shadow Fiend has not been doing great. He's a little bit too fragile. Need to remember when we're going into loot rounds. Holy shit, he died quickly. So we have Warlock Knight, Troll, Human Level 1. Radiance, I think, is pretty easy. Here. Yeah, my layout is absolute trash. <laughs> Shadow Fiend shows up right on the time he was needed. Um, take a look here. Okay. I think that Luna level 3 is more important than Batrider level 3. Kill the Shadow Fiend, kill the Shadow Fiend. Excellent. Yeah, we're definitely... Turning around quite well. How was damage that time? Yeah, Alchemist did a lot with the, the Radiance. Turns out that Al Alchemist and Radiance is, is a combo. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, 
I don't have an Abaddon. That is insane. I'm trying to think whether I want to substitute Necrophos. I don't think that I do. Boat down. Enigma, Enigma, play. Ah, cast your spells. Press your buttons. No, that's fine. We're winning <laughs> anyway. This turned around quite nicely. That was actually closer than I thought there. I was like, oh god, are we going to lose now? Uh, just people standing in the midnight pulse of my opponents. That was against Tail. Do they have a bull two Enigma? What type of Enigma do they have? Um, the main reason I'm thinking about Lich is for the undead bonus. I, I, the, the undead bonus is very powerful. Uh, I'll just throw this on you. Like, the fact that it stacks with the Alchemist bonus, uh, with the Alchemist's skill as well, is really, really good. Like, sure, Troll Warlord could have more attack speed, but... Maybe I'm just off trolls altogether. What are we looking like right now as a as a team? Made a quick decision there. Jeez, this alchemist has been fucking leveling people. Like, in terms of the amount of damage that he is... Like, he has been putting up absolute aces. In terms of the amount of damage that he is putting out himself, the, the just, just as a base, the amount that he's been tanking. I did not grab the Kanka in the last pack. Not the end of the world. Molly is frightening to me. They, I mean, I guess that they're not that far off of dead. Oh, Jesus, my dragon, I just uh, disappeared. Evaporated. Luna's been doing well too. I should I can give Luna shit sometimes. I I think that we need mechanism. I don't think that we're really that strong. Shall we just swap these? See where we're against Hurricane. Okay, I, I I think that we're okay against Hurricane. Yeah, we're we're doing we're doing well here. Wow, I'm on a little seven game win streak. Jesus. What does Molly look like? 
really, really tanky, and then some some assassins. I'm going to grab the Necrophos and then start rolling uh, after we get into combat. Like, I'm not super... Actually, maybe I should just go to 10. Yeah, I should. Boning people. Oh, God. Please help. Help me, please. Ooh, this is going to be close. I don't think I'm dead, but it's going to be close. Yeah, seven. Okay. So that was the last, obviously the last loss that we can take. But we're going we're gonna to be at, um, at 10. And we're going to have to start rolling here. That is a good one. Don't think I'm going to be able to reach the next level. Throw him in because he's Tidehunter. <gasps> oh, that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, Molly does not have magic damage. Or much of it. I guess the Enigma counts. Yeah, level 2 TA is just really good against me. Wow, I did not expect to win that. How are we doing on our bonuses? And I have to grab Enigma. Yeah, you're off the team. Um, I like the idea of getting the Naga bonus. I just don't know how to get uh, Medusa in here. Because we have Undead. Undead bonus. Um, we can get rid of a Warlock. We can substitute for Enigma. Um, or we should probably just substitute for Troll Warlord. Like, let's just call a spade a spade. And that, that Troll Warlord is... Let's, let's actually take a look at his his damage output here. It's actually mediocre. I think that this is probably better. Broad should definitely be on my boy, Tide. I also want to position the mechanisms so that they're most likely to hit Tide. Medusa's out damage up, but there was kind of mediocre. Um, yeah, I think it's Shiva's guard. I'm gonna go on Tide. We want mechanism here. Um, we want. Brooch here. Where's the other mechanism? It's on him. Um, yeah, sure. Let's have it here. I probably should have been spending this time rolling. Uh, Tails I'm okay against, I think. Ooh, Molly's almost dead.
did not get off Ravage. These tinies have been working me. That one was surprising. I thought I was dead. Tied. Do so. Grab techies, why not? Ah. Tide Hunter, stop dying! Why do you die so much? Why do you die so quickly? I'm trying so hard to keep you alive, but you just die on me every time. Thank God Puck is a fucking travesty of a unit. Tide Hunter. About time. Yeah, okay. Can't do anything else. Actually, let's roll one more time. Yeah. The reason I was rolling one more time is that I, if I get the opposite one of the ones that I, like, I have two that I need, obviously, either an Enigma or a Medusa, if I got the other one, I would just sell the other one. Yeah, I think the big problem with my opponent right now is they just have, like, no AoE. They're having a hard time keeping up because I, I have a lot of AoE, which is, is just so good in the late game. And I'm taking big, fat, wet chunks out of their, their life total. So I think we got this. Is this good? And if so, why? Oh, okay. I don't even know how, yeah, Medusa's pretty good. I'm tempted to watch from their direction. Actually, yeah, let's do this. See how things go here. Oh, they're doing pretty well this time. Then Ravage goes off. And yeah, Ravage won me that fight by a lot. Oh my god. Yeah, level level two um Tidehunter is really what's holding me down. Like it, it is uh is setting this thing up. And they don't have anything close to that. Round forty. No, no, no opinions on this. The funny thing is, is that if I get the uh, extra unit buff, the extra unit perk, I'm not actually very likely to take advantage of it. I mean, maybe I find something like a gyro. Oh, I love you, Tide Hunter. Every time I build, try to build a late game composition without Tidehunter, I just feel like I'm making a mistake. Black King Bar. I think that this has got to be right. Reroll. Do so.
like I I could roll here, but I I just don't think that there's anything that I could find that is interesting to me. The nice energy with the uh, Age of Chivalry, I think, has been a huge help. It's been it's really really helped, especially with the like making sure that my tide hunter never dies. It's it's kind of like an AOE heal in a weird way. So it, it actually does much better into the late game. So I think that that actually really has changed my opinions on on knights a lot. In that it's if you get that Age of Chivalry bonus, it's a really big help. I didn't go quite as hard into an unusual strategy as I was kind of hoping for. We uh, like it felt really hard to to deviate from some of these uh, fundamentals of it of uh, you know like Tidehunter, Medusa, and um, you know like like Lich, Enigma, uh, etc. Just like these you know late game damage dealer mages. Well, not mages, but like spellcasters. Um, <laughs> but the actual base of four knights felt way better there way better there so i think in like my last video uh, when i was messing around with knights or at least the previous video where i was messing around with knights i felt like the um i, I, I skipped on getting the age of chivalry bonus uh, and i'm pretty certain that that was a mistake so uh it just makes your f like especially makes your front line if it's not entirely knights it makes it so much better so yeah, I was really impressed there by that lineup. I mean, like, I have other amazing stuff, like level 2 Tidehunter, I have level 2 Enigma. Yeah, it's not that hard to make a lineup look good when you have these sorts of busted units, or we, we had the Naga bonus as well. It's, it's just really, really powerful. Uh, I guess also my main opponent's lineup was not well set up for the late game. Good games, though. Good game. Uh, happy with how that uh, worked out. Always so happy, of course, to get another win on camera, but that was a good one. Sorry for the little, like, bugs there at the, the various points, but that'll do it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, remember to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Also, let me know, like, what did you think of this lineup? Or have you been having experiences with, like, uh, other Knights lineups now that they've gotten these AI buffs, as I would describe it? Because I've been, I, I think that they're a lot better. I, I actually do. So that'll, uh, but yeah, that'll be it for me. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you want to support the channel, one of the best ways is to check out our Twitch page where you can subscribe and you also get emotes like yo, trash, and pst. I'm hoping to bring in the cost of the trash and the pst emotes, but I need more subscribers in order to do that. You can also check out our Patreon, our Discord, and there's links to all of that below. Thank you so much once again for checking us out and hope to see you in the next video.